her sure. so much. Let me tell you how much I love this girl. Uh, I had this group of friends down the street. I kind of lived in the hood, and, and my friends, you know, they came from all different varieties. And but my main group of friends were in this little good youth group called the Crips. Uh, <laughs> Uh, they wore blue a lot, you know, they were very loyal to each other, uh, you know, so I'd visit them every once in a while, but when I needed to talk to a man, I'd go talk to my boys in the Crips. Wedo and Pez were their names. White boy and a candy dispenser or something. But uh, I remember going down there and being like, I love this girl so much, what do I do? And, and I saw them, they had this tattoo gun. And they were tattooing each other, I guess like their signs or something. And, and they turned around and they were like, hey man, why don't you tattoo her name on you? You're in high school, nobody's got that shit. You go up in high school, you show that girl, she'll know you're like boss. Wow, that's a good idea, man. That's a dope idea. And uh, I said, why don't you do it? Let's get her name tattooed on me. And they go, okay, okay, where you want that shit? You want that shit like on your chest, dog? Something real hardcore? Your neck? You know? And I'm like, yeah, let's let's go real hardcore. Let's like, can you just put it like right here on my ankle? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, look good, you know? So so they started, they put your leg up, Holmes, let's do this. So I put my leg up and and this wasn't like having like a professional tattoo done, you know? This was like like having two crips with a tattoo gun <laughs> tattoo your ass. And, um, and I'm sitting there and after like 30 minutes, I'm like, this has gotta be fucking over, oh my God. And I'm screaming, I'm screaming. And then I finally go, stop, stop. And so I, I made him stop and I didn't finish it. So now I, now I just have this A right there. And I'd show you, but I'm wearing skinny jeans, so I can't pull them out of my boot. Um, I've got this A. It stands for accomplishments now. Um, apples. I like green apples. So, you know, uh, I'll take a picture and tweet it out or something. But, um, but, it, but what's really funny is I look at that tattoo, and it's the darkest fucking tattoo that I got. And I've got a lot of them. But that A has not lost its shape or color. It's just A. Um, so I did not, I, I chose not to go to high school and show her that tattoo. Because I didn't want her to look at me and be like, what are you, a little bitch? You didn't finish my name. You know? um, but I, I, was, I was what they call whipped. On this girl um, whipped is basically my, my roommate put it the best my first roommate I, I dated her for a while until I got out of high school and, and we're driving around my first roommate now I know you came to hear songs but I'll start in a second um, I'm driving around with my first roommate in my first car which was a Volkswagen Cabriolet rabbit right yeah and then mine was all souped up souped up from the hood means it had no shocks, right? So we could like jump on that bitch and it would like hop up and down like it had switches, but it didn't have switches. Um, and I remember it had like the CD player, the pop out CD player. Do you remember the kind of like, nobody's stealing my shit, I'm gonna pop it out and put it in my pocket. <laughs> remember that shit? That was dope, man. Oh yeah, nobody buys CDs anymore, you know? But, but I had that, I pop it in. And, and we didn't have speakers in this old car, so we had these wires that came out. <laughs> and, and I went and bought these like, like portable boxes. And who was ever riding in the passenger seat got to put that shit in their lap. <laughs> like flare up, maybe hardcore, they just couldn't show anybody that was outside the car. I'm sorry. Oh, what was, what was Oh yeah, we are driving around. And my roommate was sitting there with the speaker on his lap, you know, and we're all hardcore, you know. We were doing like that hardcore shit, like top down, driving around 610 loop, you know, boys, you know, talking, listening to hardcore music, you know, like I think it was like the Cranberries Linger. Just kind of tearing up on the left side while I'm driving. Smoking cigarettes and clove cigarettes. And he looks at me and my, he's like, dude, you are so fucking whipped. And whipped is like, when they say jump, you say how high. And I, he's like, I can't take you anywhere because you just go to the 
corner and cry over this shit, you know? You're like a baby. I tell you what, since we're living together, you no longer have phone privileges. You can't call her ever again when you're living with me. And back then, we didn't have cell phones. So there was a certain beauty to that. Because nobody could find you. You had this private life that was, I never knew existed until back then, you know? And nowadays, if your girl calls you, you know, where are you? Uh, I'm at the flower show, store, baby. No, you're not. How do you know that? I got GPS, motherfucker. <laughs> That, that's just, just not right, you know? You used to be able to, to, be able to lie to people. Um, but he said, okay, sorry, focus, Justin. He said to me, you're not going to call her anymore. I'm going to make sure you don't call her because we got to get you over this chick. And back then we had rotary phones, so even if you did call her, you had time to think about it. You know? And then he said something very poignant. He said, dude, you have got to make this girl know how it feels to miss you. And then I was like, what did you say, Jeff? And I pulled the car over. I was like, dude, I'm sorry, but we got to go home right now because I just had this idea for a song. Yeah. White kitchen walls with a thousand windows. Turn on Winston in the dead And I'm still asleep but I can't hear the piano When you make breakfast after ten And I smell the coffee on your fingers I still smell the perfume in the bed Linen roses are on everything, and you're still inside my head. Come on, sing with me. You gotta make her know how it feels to miss you. Let her know you're swapping sides. Breakups and makeups and fuckups and 